Happy New Year, everyone! It's me again, GW fan the Sopko Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Last time we defeated, it, well, I guess freed an Esper more so than defeated, but <laughs> in any case, we got a really nice Esper for uh, Twilight to start learning, mostly because of Meteor more so than the other ones, although there are still uses for the other spells. But anyhow, we now have this hole that appeared. Uh, here on the side of the cliff that was, well, behind the Esper, and now we can jump down into it. Because we can survive Falls of Infinite Height, just like uh, another guy always says. And we have this place that also has fun music. And very different from the above areas, so I have every pony equipped. Uh, now, specifically with uh, dragon protection, because most of the enemies who run here try to use dragon on you in one way or another. Uh, also, I don't have pinky uh, dual building because we have the thunder elemental uh, defense that we kind of need because of one particular enemy around here. And uh, otherwise, Trixie, she's not using lore anymore because the enemies around here are not susceptible to level 4 player. Uh, a couple of them are susceptible to level 3 muddle or level 3 confusion, but I don't care because I have a more efficient form of confusion here, and Sketch is actually a little useful here if you happen to have Trixie, or preferably Sweetie Belle, since Trixie's not too accurate for this compared to her. <laughs> uh, well, otherwise, one other thing I kind of forgot to know, I didn't even really realize it, honestly, is that the Farmer Frock uh, also increases your HP by 12.5%, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> Uh, even for Pinky Bear, who actually has rather abnormally high HP compared to other characters. I think even compared to, like, Applejack. I'm not sure if Applejack has, like, comparable or just, like, normal HP, but... Yeah, Pinky almost has more HP than, char than some characters that are, like, a level above her in some cases, so... Anyway, save stating real quick. The gimmick of this place, besides... Oh, well, besides Dragon. But anyway, we've got a uh, new enemy here, Poppers. Nothing terribly interesting about these guys. Let's see, they are weak to fire. Most everything around right down here is weak to fire, so I can't use that. So yeah, let's use that fiery frenzy, because since you're not uh, using your regular wow. If they don't kill Never mind, Pinky, never mind. Yeah, those guys, really easy thanks to Noise Blaster. If you don't have it, well, they're actually not that difficult anyway. Although, if you are here, you do not want to be at level 33 because those guys can use stone. And with, and which, because they're at the same level as 33, or they are at level 33, so if you're at the same level, it'll do seven and a half times normal damage. That's bad. <laughs> 800 experience points. That's a lot more than like any other fight you can get around here for the most part. So, yeah, Fluttershy, you need an Esper, because most enemies give around 500 experience points, or most of the battles around here give around 500 experience points, so, yeah, let's get some more of that vigor, you will need it. You've already seen a little bit how useful it is. Once it gets even just a little higher, she's much, much stronger. Anyway, as I was going to say, besides Dragon, the other gimmick around here, you can kind of see right here at least, the ground gives way and makes us fall. Which, uh, I don't want to do that <laughs> just yet. I do want to go down there eventually, but not yet. There's still a few other things. Uh, I think to the right, uh, there's like a uh, almost immediate hole over there, or at least it leads like over there, but I don't want to go over there. Don't go up that way. There's a hole somewhere over there. See, Ceratops and Snowblade. Snowblades are the little guys on the bottom there. I can use them, which is nice because they will frequently use Stepmine, and Ceratops, just use Grass Bottom. He's lame. Although he is immune to lightning. Actually, a lot of the enemies around here are immune to lightning. Or at least two of them are, anyway. Those little guys, they are formerly known as Tom Thumb. They are actually weak to lightning and water, but they're also weak to each other, so... Oh. Well, anyway. Uh... Why not? It's not going to do that much damage, but why not? A purple. That cuts their HP in half, doesn't it? Yeah, that's no good. You don't have uh, 
Okay, fine, this is Bolt 2. These guys are practically killing themselves, so... They have a lot of HP, though. Wow. Are you gonna kill yourselves? Kinda. Let's try the Thunderclap, see if maybe that does a little better. That's a cruddy ability. I think it's actually water, not lightning, but... Wow, was that like a different one than I was expecting? Well, maybe Acid Rain was the water one. Okay, maybe that was a more rare one. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> Can't usually rely on those, but they can be interesting to use. I might as well finally show them off. And Fluttershy gained a level, and Pinky's going to gain a level. So, as I said before, because of her... Uh, Chaos Dice. I don't really care about Pinky's other stats, even though she actually can do pretty good physical damage, even around uh, some of the other enemies around here, but I want to give her the speed boost of surprise. So, yeah, that'll help her in the long run, as time goes on. Anyway, over here we get Cider Jug. There is a hole below us, like, down those stairs. So, just go back the way we came. Anemone! These are the guys, this is the reason I have uh, Lightning Elemental Protection, because you can't confuse them, and they will use, like, Gigavolt and crap on you. And, let's see, they're with the fire, I believe? Yes. So, yeah, Fiery Frenzy, because you might even heal us, for that matter. And, hey, Twilight, you use fire, and you copy that, or mimic that, so. Fluttershy, just, uh, I could use. Or at least get it ready to use stars there, ninja star. Yeah, go ahead and throw something, see how that works out. The other three can handle it well enough. Yeah, you, they'll use Megavolt to heal themselves in a pathetic amount, and then they can use Gigavolt on you when they die sometimes, so... Yeah, and that will... Not just a single character, that will pretty much kill some pony. <laughs> if they don't have lightning elemental protection, so, yeah. Yeah, good thing about Mimic, as I said before, you don't use MP. If there's another thing that's really particularly bad about Trixie, honestly, it's the fact that practically none of her equipment gives her a speed boost of any kind, other than, like, the Sneak Ring and the Crusader Cape. So, that's another reason you might use a Crusader Cape. Oh, thanks, Pinky, that was useful. Not, like, stupendous damage or anything, but hey, that works fine against these sorts of enemies. That's a lot of experience points. A lot more than I was expecting. But I don't usually fight, like, multiples of those enemy enemies in it, either. Like, usually just two of them at most. I think he gained level. Got more Fire Rubies that I'll probably never use, because I always like to have protection against that. Let's see, and you two are not going to get a level up for a while. Let's see, is that all the enemies around here? Oh, no, no, there's at least, well, actually two more, but one other common enemy. There is a rare enemy around here that I do want to try to meet before we leave. So, if I don't meet him, but by the time we get to the end of this place, I'm going to kind of walk around, run from everything, and try to meet him. Otherwise, carefully go around that. You can, can't see other holes. These are the only thing you can, but, yeah, otherwise, uh, hopefully I meet him. Well, as long as I conveniently got in a battle right there, I have reset the party to... Oh, except for Fluttershy. Okay, give you the old power band there to increase your vigor a little bit more, and... Okay, now! <laughs> yeah, I've reset the characters a little bit. I don't really need those Thunder Splints, but it doesn't really matter there. I got Pinky reset there, and I also have... Well, Twilight's still learning Sparkler, because I wanted to learn that, even though I could just do that a little bit more quickly, but yeah, Trixie I've got equipped with Majesty, and Fluttershy I have equipped with Medley, because that'll help whenever we open up this treasure chest right here. For the monster in the box against the Imtonberry, or Pugs, plural, in the original game. I want to, or no, not you, you don't have it, you have it. Use Medley on them to prevent them from using nasty things against us. And then you use Majesty, we can be banished, and they are basically, well, dead meat, as far as we're concerned. And, let's see. Go ahead and party on, and these guys are weak to fire. They actually have bad defenses in general. 
both uh, physical and magical, so fire two works just fine. Although, actually, should I concentrate? Nah, whatever. I can always get more. I could throw fire elements away. Actually, you know what? Better yet, let's throw the flame edge. See how much I haven't actually checked to see how much damage that can do. I could even have you mimic that, but I don't. I think that would actually use up an item there. So. Yeah, don't have Pinky party, because she might undo Vanish, and that would be bad. Yeah, I'll have you mimic someone at some point. Oh, that wasn't really as good as I was hoping. Yes, because they'll do Scour. I don't... I think they're rather difficult to sketch, because they're at, like, level 99. But yeah, these guys can't do much otherwise. Oh, that was a much better than I was expecting. Wow! Yeah, you mimic that. Well, you know what? That'll work much better than just throwing... I mean, I can do more damage with the ninja stars, but yeah, that'll do just fine with if there's multiple of them. Even if there's just one of them, it does suffer from split damage, so there we go. Yeah, weird thing about the M. Ton there, you can actually meet these guys in the belt, but even if Scooby idolizes them, they won't appear in her list for some reason. It's really strange. Scour, huh? I think they used, like, Holy or something in the original game, but that would actually, Scour would actually be worse. Scour's a lot worse than I originally thought it was, because it casts both the Poison status and Seizure status on you, so that's really bad. <laughs> uh, who are you mimicking? Can you... Well, we'll find out in a moment, if we don't kill one of them. They actually have quite a bit of HP. They also have a rare steal, but because their level is 99, it's extremely difficult to get it from them. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, there goes one. Maybe two of them. Maybe three. Pinky? Yeah, Pinky! They also have a rare drop, but I've never gotten it from them. Five magic points. That'll help for Twilight there. I don't know if it's the same as it was. I mean, it's not the same as it was in the original game, because it originally gave you the strongest... Uh, body armor in the game, which, what was that called again? The Minerva? But that's been changed. I don't know what specifically, what it's been changed to. I would guess we get the, the Royal Regalia from them, maybe, but I don't know. I've never, I never have, so anyway, I want to change my equipment ba uh, back real quick, and I'll be right back. Well, we're still under Vanish, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Going back this way real quick and falling down these stairs, because that'll... Er, stairs. So falling down this hole, so that'll get us a little closer than falling down the other hole. I can go ahead and get this treasure now. The Sturdy Shoe. We've seen this a couple... Well, at least once before, but I didn't do anything with it. Which, uh, this is a relic. Wherever the heck it went. There it is. Yeah, hold a weapon in, with two coups. Yeah, basically double the power of one weapon. In this game, for the most part, that's not too useful, though I do actually have a, uh, at least reasonable use for it uh, coming up. Uh, not like today, but <laughs> I'll show off at least one thing you, you can do with it uh, now. And otherwise... Oh, there's the other guy. Yeah, otherwise it's not too... Yeah, noise blaster. Uh, yeah, fire. I think he's also the Kiwa. Yeah, he's no, he's actually weak to ice. He's an enemy you could. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, he's an enemy that he could uh, draw against. Yeesh. Oh, he's at level 33 also. <laughs> and they can use trimmer. Wow, <laughs> that was nasty. Well, I don't really need to... Okay, Trixie, how about you show off real quick sketch if you can? That's not going to do too much. I think it will, but not as much as I'd like. And, yeah, you just fight him. Because... Dragon. Oh, well, that was the r more rare ability. I was expecting to get... Uh... Oh, what is it called? Just kill him. Uh, Cyclonic, which would lower his HP to, like, double digits or something, and it just kill him in one hit, but... Okay, I guess apparently you can get Dragon from him, too. 850 experience, but... Ooh. We got a white key. I think, uh, Twy and Trixie are actually close to even a level up. Ooh, wow. 
I could potentially get one for both of them. Ooh. That's actually kind of bad. I kind of hope I don't. Uh, Twilight, you're a little bit more important, but let's go ahead and give you regular, your, well, your mom, and we'll give you... Oh, I don't need Majesty on... See? Oh, I didn't get, get Medley off of Fluttershy yet. Whoops. Let's give you that, because you're a little bit more behind, and I don't need that. <laughs> so, anyway... That's basically all the treasures here. Haven't met that rare monster yet. I think there's a hole over there. 500 experience points. Well... Wow. Ooh, that sucks. I kind of don't want to get into another battle now, if I had to... Okay, you know what? Yeah, I've run from anything else that I might get into, so... Uh, that first switch will just drop you back down. We want to hit this switch, which will drop us into a new area. And since I haven't met the enemy I want to meet yet, I'm going to go ahead and run back and, let's see, yeah, save state real quick, run back and forth, try to meet it, and otherwise run from anything else. In fact, I'm going to gonna put on the back guard and the Pegasus ring so I can get more creative attacks. And, uh, well, I'll, yeah, we'll see how long it takes to find that. Oh, there it is. I want to run away, though, because, yeah, it's that same guy from before. I actually, I don't think he's actually in that other area that I was, that I dropped down into, which was really stupid, so. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, <laughs> got interrupted right then, but, uh, yeah, I ended up kind of, going back to my original save state and trying it in the upper areas. I don't think I can actually meet it down where I was, which is... Dang it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the Tonberry, that is a rare encounter. I definitely wanted to meet that because unlike the original game, you actually can meet that particular Tonberry on the belt. And Scootaloo can learn its ability, which is also not the same as it was in the original. In this mod, she learns the ability Cleave, along with a regular fight command. And Cleave does the absolutely insane amount of damage, somewhere in the ballpark of eight to eight and a half times normal damage. It is the ultimate physical skill for her, as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, I'm actually going to, well, go back to my previous save state. <laughs> Uh, this one, yeah, after all that work, and I want to re-equip the party real quick, and yeah, I'm actually, once I'm done here, I'm gonna just, just gonna walk back around to those upper areas, it's, I don't think I can actually meet the Tonberry in here, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna re-equip real quick and be right back. Alrighty, as you can see, I've actually cast Float on the whole party. And we're equipped for full-on offensive. Yeah, Power Band actually will be useful this time. And yeah, Trixie, Jewel Ring, Gold Hairpin. She is actually not equipped with what you might think she would be. She's actually equipped with Spike. Uh, to do... Well, and also Summon, of course. To, uh, well, do maximum damage there. Not that it's really gonna matter that much. And... Yeah, that should do it. Basically, we're going to look at this thing on my bob here. Which looks like a stone. Magicide, eh? Well. Sure! What's the worst that could happen? That was pretty big to be stuck in just the eye. And we get the Magicite Crumpet. I don't know who that is. It's not in the main show. I'm that. This time I'm certain. Uh, Sparkler actually is. Uh mod. Now, mod can use magnitude 8, which is why we're floating, and otherwise, Fluttershy, uh, I have you equipped with Majesty, because she's basically a physical character otherwise, so, yeah, now, just sum to your heart's content, party on, or fight on, and flare. I think she's technically weak to fire, but she has some pretty good stats, so it doesn't really matter. Are you even gonna get to do anything, Fluttershy? Or is Pinky just going to annihilate her sister here? Oh, she's already at Fire Ruby? 
Wow. She's like already more than halfway dead. That basically just increased her power, and depending on Piggy's role, she might just kill her right here and now. So, yeah, she's not that tough. Oh, yeah, bye, Mod. <laughs> Thanks for the effort. Oh, you're not dead. Okay, never mind. Summon, because why not? Maybe Fluttershy will get to do something, will she? That's what all, all this means now. Bam. Nope. Well, thanks for the majesty, Fluttershy. Yeah, that's another really easy. Unfortunately, most of the boss fights are actually pretty easy. But, <laughs> 10 bits? That's it? Oh, come on! And Mod will sit here from here on out, unless you have Pinkie Pie in the party. You got a big bat out there! Want to help us snatch his face in? Yet we get the quiet and sullen, yet unquestionably loyal Mod. Whose name also happens to fit, like her portrait there. And character design in general. Uh, protective. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, yeah, Mod has now joined the party, and well, she'll join us in the airship. Yeah, she'll wait on the airship. She comes with her own equipment, even, but. Uh, you know, what does she have? Is she actually worthwhile? Well, uh, I'm gonna go back around and meet the Tonberry on this uh, save state, and then we'll go and see just how good or perhaps not good mod is. Which will it be? Find out next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Oh, and uh, we'll go out to that place that she peeked out earlier, and we can just warp from here, but I actually want to keep on go go back around, so you have to get out of here, but, or warp to get, uh, get out of here, but yeah, I'm just going to keep walking back around, so, arrivederci!